Hey, it worked first time. That never happens. Good evening, Quentin. Can you hear me, mate? Uh, yes, I can. Excellent. Excellent. I can't see you, but I can hear you, and that's a good thing. So, for those playing at home, welcome to the last Krillionaire Crypto group chat of this series. I think this is our number seventh. I put it in originally at six or seven meetings just to see what would happen. And um, we've come a long way. We've come a very long way. So, hopefully, you've learned lots of things and kept lots of notes. And I'm filling my notepad up as we speak. So, mate, what have you learned this week? We missed you last week. Me? Yeah. Um, I'm just sort of holding at the moment, waiting for my account to come good again. Yep, yep. Doing. But I've been playing with the Brave um, um, browser. Have you heard of that one? No, no. Recently, I've, I've seen DuckDuckGo, but I haven't seen Brave. What does it do? Um, Brave is like a, it's like Chrome, but it also links in with cryptos and stuff as well. Okay. Okay. So it, and it's very fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is it us, using blockchain technology for browsing or? Um, I'm not too sure. Yeah. It looks like this. Okay. I've only been playing with it for a week, but it uses bat basic, basic something or other. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's not the bat one. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So the, just this week, it's blocked 188 trackers, blocked a whole bunch of ads. And, wow. And it's meant to be a lot faster than Chrome. Yeah. And, but it linked in with um, it's linking in with a lot of crypto stuff. So. Right, right. Yeah, the other the other ones I've seen like DuckDuckGo and Tor and Onion and these ones are, are more with um, security, so that people can't track you and can't tell where you are. Um, yeah, so it does all that as well. Yeah, but yeah. it has a um, has a payment platform included in it that uses cryptos. So. Oh, okay, that's so good that, to know. I think it's basic intention and it's BAT, B-A-T. Yeah. So they have like, yeah, an affiliate program so you can sell stuff and get paid and stuff all through yeah. cryptos. Wow. That's quite cool. Sounds very cool. Oh, I've just lost video for a second. Can you still see me? Yep. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Screen just went black. Um, make sure I've got power. Yes, I have got power. Okay, so I've, I've done a little bit of homework this week. Um, I've got my, my Bitcoin. Thank you for sending that through the mail. You got your, your yep. little Boston, Boston coin watch. Yep. Yeah, excellent. Um, JT has phoned in to say that he's in a meeting tonight. So he'll be watching this later. And um, I, before I go into my stuff, what else have you been? Anything? Yep. You don't have any any new any new any new coins, Quentin? Uh, no, because I bought fifty coins back in um, December. Yeah, so yeah. All dropped, and they're all about. It's about ten percent off being what it was in December. So. Right. I'm just okay. holding and waiting. Yeah, yep, yep. I, I sent out an update the other day with the um, with the Boston coin, um, with the portfolio there, and obviously, you know, Bitcoin went down by 40, 50 percent, sort of December, January. Um, Ethereum went down by 20 to 30 percent, but some of the, some of the coins that we're actually holding there went up by um, 120, 130 percent which was good it sort of balanced out the portfolio and that's the idea of having you know a, a few dozen coins in your in your portfolio yeah and obviously for pick, picking the good ones when you can and for those people who haven't watched the previous couple of calls i'll need to go back and check out quentin's spreadsheet 
um, where you can actually rank the coins by liquidity and, and um, by their rating on CoinGecko and also the coin process that we use, checking out the four stage process to make sure you access the good ones. And my sort of top four coins have been NEO, yep. Ethereum, OMG and Zek. Okay, Zek I know is, is Zcash. Yep. Um, NEO is the Chinese contender to Ethereum. Yeah. Um, seems to be a little bit better than Ethereum by, by a few of the reviews that I've, that I've read. And it's been holding very well. Yeah. So Neo, Zek, Ethereum, and what was the fourth one, sorry? OMG, um, Amicio. Right. It's the Thailand one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's also uh, holding very well as well. I thought it was just the initials for Oh My God, but... Um, well, it is obviously. the initials, but it's, um, oh yeah, it's called, uh, what is it called? Amicio Go, O-M-I-S-E Go. Okay, I'll need, I'll need to check that one out. The one they uh, use in Thailand a lot, evidently. Yeah. It's holding really well as well. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been very busy the last week um, with, the, with the Boston coin portfolio and setting up overseas corporations and things like that and getting marketing in US and London and Bali. Um, and I've, I've just got a few coins I've, I've written down to have a look at, um, which is WePower, um, which I, I thought at first it was like, um, it's like Power Ledger where you can actually sell your solar power to other people peer to peer rather than going through the electricity company. Um, but it looks more like what WePower is doing is actually selling you tomorrow's electricity today. So you can jump in and you can buy, you know, like $500 worth of WePower. Um, and then you can say, look, I'm going to use that in 2016 or something like that. Uh, that's my understanding of it. So, you know, if, if you find out differently, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but prepaying for your electricity because electricity seems, seems to go up by about 10 or 20% per year. Um, so you can buy it now and then use it later. It's probably also a good idea to get into something with, with petrol if you're into that sort of space. Um, the other one I looked at is Referium, R-E-F-E-R-E-U-M, um, Credits, C-R-E-D-I-T-S, B-A-B-B. -B -B. I can't even remember what they do, but I've written them down to, to have a check at them when I've got a, a free minute. Um, Arc Block, Arc with a C. Um, Fintrux, F-I-N-T-R-U-X, Metronome is the other one, um, Play to Live and Medical Chain. Oh, last one is Socify or Socify, S-O-C-I-F-I. And that's another one similar to Steam where it's a, a social, social network, uh, similar to Facebook. But obviously Facebook's making money off of us. You know, we supply the content, they, they make money off the ads whereas Steam and Socify actually pay you for creating content. So you've got really cute pictures of your dogs or your kids or whatever, old lady falling downstairs and you post it on there and the more people who actually see it and upvote it and, and like it, then you actually get paid for that. So some, some very interesting things coming out. And I've, I've seen a huge backlash against Facebook after Facebook um, banned the ads for cryptos. Um, because yes, there were some scammers, you know, maybe 5% scammers in amongst the crypto community. Uh, but there's also scammers in the weight loss community. There's also scammers in, in pretty well every industry that you can name. Um, but by, by banning a brand new industry that's just sort of starting to come out and a lot of people are, are getting behind, Facebook has upset a lot of people. So I've seen more activity on Twitter and VK and Steemit and Medium than, than I've seen for many, many years. Um, so that's pretty amazing. I'm, I think, you know, Facebook might need to get their stuff together. Otherwise they're going to actually lose a lot of, a lot of people. And it seems to be the, you know, maybe sort of 30 to 50 demographic who are mostly looking for ICOs. Um, so that's kind of the demographic, which is going to, to leave Facebook or spend less time on Facebook in any case. I know well, I've been spending people don't time. use Facebook anyhow. They say it's for oldies. Right, right, right. So that, they might be going over to these other ones where they actually get paid yeah, a dollar every time they post something. Yeah, uh, yeah. but I, I know I've spent less time on Facebook and, and to do the research on the coins, I've had to be on, on different things and on Telegram and different communities, learning about, um, learning about different things. So 
I'm, I'm hoping someone, someone who's listening to this call is actually writing down the ones that we talked about and going to do their own research on them uh, and find out. As I said, I, I released all of the coins that, um, or the, the top, top 25 coins, I think, that, um, that Boston had last week or in the last couple of days. Um, but those were, those were plays that we had, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, so people can actually see, you know, what I've, what I've been buying. Um, and also obviously these ones are the ones that I'm looking at at the moment. I haven't actually decided on these ones. So as, as far as, you know, future video chats go, um, I think I'm, you know, I'll, I'll probably do them on a case by case basis but I will be spending more time in research and more time running the portfolio for, for the Boston coin and then sending out a report at the end of every month saying, this is what I've bought and this is what I've sold. Um, I, th I think pretty well everybody on this call, like when, when we started, there was a lot of people who didn't know what exchange to use, didn't know what wallet to use, didn't know how to set themselves up. Um, and mostly we've solved all of those problems. So most of the people are actually able to, to do that now, um, which is good, you know, good progress going from zero to, to actively trading within six weeks. Um, so congratulations to you, if that's you. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty all we need to do, mate. You know, everybody's off and running and they can invest into the things that they need to invest into and, and find out where to go. Um, I'll, I'll still be updating the Krillionaire website as I learn new things. Uh, I think there's a couple more exchanges that I put on this week and a couple more coins that I put on this week, um, but certainly slowing down on that. I was doing like five or six a week now, it's sort of maybe one or two when I find the new information. So diverting more of my energy into my actual, you know, day-to-day -day coaching business and also doing the Boston coin, which I'm, I'm hoping if I, if I can do that sort of one day a week, um, that'll be a, a nice little profitable hobby, I guess. And I'm buying and holding rather than, you know, actively trading, you know, buying at nine and selling at 10. That's sort of crazy, crazy way to get your blood pressure through the roof. But if you're mm -hmm. buying a good quality coin that you've checked out all the fundamentals behind it, it should be like a good stock portfolio where you can check on it, you know, maybe once a week, once a month and it's still doing the right thing. Um, there was one I think we talked about last week um, that was actually paying, paying dividends. Um, can't remember the name of that one. Uh, it's, it's definitely on the, um, on the Krillionaire site. Um, so you can find that one. It's, it's paying dividends. 7% of their profits get paid out every quarter. So, rather than just holding onto the coin and thinking, yeah, if it goes up, it goes up, if it goes down, it goes down. This is more like a, a stock market holding or, or a property holding where you can actually hang on to it and receive income every few months. So you can hold on to that one for the longer term. And I, I think it, it's good that there's, you know, a lot, a lot of the coins have turned up, the, the scammy ones have turned up on deadcoins.com. Uh, a few weeks ago, there was almost like two and a half thousand, almost 3000 coins. Um, and earlier, earlier this week, or what's today, Monday, a couple of days ago when I checked, um, there was between 1500 and, and 2000. So it seems like a lot of the dodgy coins have left the market, uh, which is good. And the good ones that are staying in there are starting to obviously focus on bringing value and the value behind giving a return to investors rather than just a capital gain if it goes up or if it goes down but also sharing some of their profits as well, which I think is a, is a great idea. And that'll bring a lot of stability to the market. Uh, and when, when you're looking at buying a property or when you're looking at um, buying a share, you look at how much am I actually getting as a payment, as a you know, annual payment or a monthly payment or whatever, and that will dictate the price. Now, obviously all things being equal with two properties, the one that's, that's paying the higher rent should be worth more than the one that's paying a lower rent. And well, like Nino pays a dividend in gas. Right, right. I think it's, a, I don't know whether you call it a dividend or what it is. But yeah, well, for, no until we get a better term for it, yeah. <laughs> it pays an income. Yeah, because uh, it's sort of giving me, what, 50 or $60 as a bonus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's good when they do that. It encourages you to hold on to them for, for longer as well. 
So yeah, I think Ripple Ripple is the one that pays pays an income. Um, I'll draw, what was it called? Dramata um, or Dorador, I can't remember. It starts with a D anyway. It's on the, it's on the Carillion Air site. Um, and they're, they're basically looking at drone delivery um, mm -hmm. and drone delivery for, you know, pizzas and, and taking on these little, these little scooters. You see the Fedora and um, Uber Eats and, and Deliveroo and that sort of stuff. Um, and they say that the drone can actually deliver it twice as quickly because it doesn't need to stop for dread for red lights or for traffic. Um, and it's about one sixth of the cost of having a courier do it. Um, and e even the last mile, like when you buy something from M Amazon that ships out to the, um, to the website, to, to the warehouse, sorry. Um, that's, they do that in bulk. You know, there's thousands of orders turn up at the warehouse or thousands of orders turn up at the post office. And then some guy on a bike has to actually do the last mile. And this is where they actually employ these, employ these drones to do it for much cheaper than the cost of using humans. And um, they actually do pay out a share of the profits to the people who are holding the coins. So um, yeah, I just can't find the the name there, but it's the one with a D and I've, <laughs> I've written about it on the Krillion Air website. Uh, I think we also talked about Steemit and Leroy, which at the moment, Steemit and Medium, are probably the two biggest competitors for Facebook and Leroy, the biggest competitor for Twitter at the moment. Um, not only do you get paid for posting content, but there's, because you do have to pay a couple of cents for posting content, there's a lot less spam and a lot less automated robots and things like that. Because I think about 25% to 30% of the users on Twitter are actually robotic accounts. I'm not sure what the stats are for Facebook, but you can pretty well see that they're artificially intelligent. They will follow you, they'll reply to you, they'll like your posts and things like that. And there's really nobody there. So. Well, what's Boston? You keep talking Boston. about Boston, but I'm not too sure what it is. Yeah, this this is the the coin where I'm actually I'm actually doing the trading um, using that four step coin process, um, which I've adapted from my trading in in financial planning and in the stock markets. So um, this this is a partnership which we've set up, and basically it's it's a portfolio of coins and stocks. So we're looking at you know up to the top 200 of of the coins, um, and up to the two, up to the top 200 of the technology stocks. So you know I mean years ago we had uh, MySpace was number one, but then Facebook took over, um, and I don't know who's going to win the battle with the coins, whether Neo is going to beat Ethereum or whether you know Bitcoin Gold is going to beat the original Bitcoin. But with the stocks, obviously, we can invest into the guys who make the motherboards and the guys who make the um, the underlying technology, the hardware, the the storage devices, and things like that, as well as looking at the top coins and finding those out. So rather than you know, with with some people, they've got like I've I've bought some Bitcoin, I've bought some Ethereum, I've bought some Neo, but they don't have enough money to invest in a portfolio of of thirty to 50, 50 different coins. So that's why they can just buy the one Boston coin. It's like an exchange traded fund or an ETF. It's like a managed fund or a mutual fund. And they can just buy one coin and access to, you know, a couple of hundred like different coins in there. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's act actively managed because there's no real index. There's indexes obviously for the stock market, but there's no index for the coins. Um, and you can basically buy one coin and you've got access to returns from dozens and dozens of them. And you can still trade it as quickly and easily as you, as you trade trade Bitcoin. Now, this has come out of you know my trading. You know I'm I'm more high risk because I understand markets. I've been in the markets for 25 years. There's other people who are who are more low risk, um, and they just don't have the time. And so I've I've been managing some some coin portfolios for a number of people. And it, it started to get a bit sort of onerous when I've got this person on this exchange, this person on this exchange, this person on this exchange. And just when I'm going to combine all of it um, and issue coins rather than rather than individual accounts, and um, yeah, have it set up that way. So is it American? Uh, well, I'm Australian, obviously. Um, okay. But Boston Boston Coin is incorporated in Delaware as millions and millions of companies are, are incorporated mm -hmm. in Delaware because they're favorable for tax and international and they're favorable incorporated for... in Delaware. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We're in good company. So yeah, 
Yeah, so it's, it's a good project. I think, again, bringing stability to the market. And certainly, you know, I, I was in financial planning when managed funds and, and compulsory superannuation first started. And that certainly brought a lot of stability to the stock market because, you know, with, with a managed fund, you have to be invested in the market whether you like it or not. Um, and so on days like, you know, September 11, when the stock market crashed, the, the fund managers were still buying in there and still propping up the prices of the good companies, minimizing those, those crashes and giving a, a nice diversified exposure for people who only had a small amount of money to play with. So, yeah, it's looking good. We're, we're officially, like the, the ICO is officially on the 8th of April, uh, but we have been in pre-ICO for the last couple of weeks and, and still taking investments. We're just giving bonuses of nice little Boston watches and, you know, bonus coins and things like that. Um, so some people, some people want bonus coins. Some people want a discount. Um, some people want a Boston t-shirt. So we're flexible, you know, it's, it's a small team of, of less than half a dozen people and um, it's run from a laptop and we can talk to individual investors at the moment until it gets too big. And then obviously we need to change things, but obviously after the ICO, there won't be any more, any more 10% bonuses or t-shirts or things like that, unless we need to really ramp up the marketing. Uh, cool. Very good. I, I think, as I say, that that's it for this for this series. Everybody's been educated. Everybody's shared. Everybody's done their homework. Quentin's done a lot of work, and he's been rewarded abundantly. <laughs> and those of you who actually did your homework would have would have learned a few things, you know, even just from looking at a few random coins. Um, and following that four step process. So if you haven't, if you haven't tried that, do that, even on the ones that you think that you know, and the ones that your, your friends are talking about. Uh, we've got a message there saying, thanks Quentin, for all the work that you've done. I, I think in, in six or seven weeks, I managed to profile about 25 coins, mate, and you managed to profile 80. So <laughs> you're certainly leaving me in the dust, mate. The beauty uh, of retirement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm still trying to trying to juggle three different roles. So, but um, I, I get distracted easy. I like to have a few things on the go at once. Keeps yeah. me entertained. Yeah. So, thank you everybody. Thank you, Quentin, again uh, for your participation. Thank you for the guys tuning in. And uh, as I say, I'll be more focusing on the Boston and and my own my own business at the moment. I won't be doing these these weekly calls anymore. But uh, hopefully you've, you've learned a lot of stuff and it's got you from a standing start up to the area where you can actually choose a good coin and invest into those and hold for the long term. Um, and if you like to day trade and you like to get your blood pressure up, then you can certainly do that. Um, you might want to talk to someone else about that because I'm not going to teach you how to do that. Uh, so how do we get involved in Boston? Uh, the website is bostontrading.co. Uh, B O S T O N T R A D I N G dot co, not dot com, uh, for the Boston Trading Company. And um, there's a, a 30 second video on there. There's a, a bit about the, the team. Um, so we've got some, an Australian lawyer and an American lawyer on board, and um, a couple of other people from around the world. But as I say, a small, small team, like half a dozen people at the moment. Um, and just you know, running it simply and, and cost effectively so everybody gets the best return and a good coin to hold for the longer term because it does have an underlying value and obviously from the trading that that will happen inside of there um, the portfolio will fluctuate but not as much as as the other coins can fluctuate on a daily basis so we'll definitely hold their value and hopefully increase in value for everybody so very cool, but obviously, yeah. If you if you want to ask more questions about about the Boston coin, then you can get in contact through the through the website there. So. And oh, sorry. Is is that you, mate? Yeah. Bit of noise. Sorry, All good. Know. Yeah. Thank you again, and um, Quentin, we'll we'll definitely chat further because I've I've still got to open your um your files which you've sent me. And oh, probably right. marketing compare, yeah. yeah, and we'll, we'll compare notes on some of those other 80 coins that I haven't got around to, <laughs> to researching yet. So I, I know, I know you're retired and your time is, time is precious to you, mate, but you know, maybe, maybe once a week I'll give you a call and say, Hey, what should I do here? 
Well, this uh, is all new. I'm, I'm used to the internet marketing side of things, which this is very close to, but. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a new area for everyone. You know, crypto wasn't around 10 years ago. We've had the stock market for a couple of hundred years and we've had the property market for about 400 years, but um, you know, we're all learning at this one. So it's going to be an interesting ride and uh, interesting to see where the world will, will end up. What, what, if you've only got a, a short amount of time, um, jump in and read the book, uh, The Future of, Future of Currency, which is available for free on the, um, on the Krillionaire site. And just looking at, you know, where we'll be in the future with, you know, people just bypassing governments and bypassing tax offices and, and bypassing motels and taxi companies and just everybody sharing peer to peer what that future will actually look like. Cause it's certainly, certainly an interesting space to be in. Uh, thank you again for participating. Thank you for those guys watching at home and um, I'll chat to you soon. Later. Cheers.